What's going on, child? It's your most, just your most favorite avid YouTuber in the whole entire world. Back with another video. Now, today I do have another reaction video for y'all, but of course, this one is a little bit different. Now, this one's only a little bit different because apparently Wack 100 went on DJ Vlad and basically, you know, went off. More specifically, he went off on the whole informant, Lil Dirk, OTF, and just all the lead shit that's going on with that whole degree. Now, I'm not too sure what he's gonna say. But I, you know, knowing Wack 100, well, not really like knowing him, but like from watching him. So, you know, knowing him, knowing how he acts and all that, I, I have an idea that this is going to be interesting, maybe some wise shit. And at the same time, he's probably going to go off and say some crazy shit. But I don't know what's going on here. But so shout out to DJ Vlad for the video we are reacting to. Of course, go check out the channel, go subscribe, go like the video, go do all the goodness, of course. But with that said, I have to say that everything that we are hearing in this video is, of course, allegedly. Alleged, 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 alleged until proven guilty. And also, I might make my jokes. I might to be a little bit brutally honest. And my cat's about to jump in one, two. Oh, see, I knew it was coming. And I might be brutally honest, but it's all love, no hate. Just like I would, uh, I feel like they would do. They would be brutally honest if they were talking about me slash reacting about me. So with that said, let's figure out what exactly Wack 100 says because I heard he go a little bit off. No more hesitations. Let's get into the video now. Five other OTF members were arrested. Uh, Kavon London Grant, I the Andre Dontrell They chained low-key hard. David Bryant, Lindsay, and Entertainment, Asa whatever Houston. it says. That shit hard. Uh... They're charged with conspiracy to commit murder for hire, committing murder for hire resulting in death, use of carry and discharge of firearms, and a machine gun in the furtherance of a crime of violence resulting in death. Obvious switch. Yeah, exactly. Extremely serious charges that might actually carry the death penalty. And they said that the OTF credit cards was used to book flights uh, as well as rental cars. Yeah, that shit still right. blows my mind. Right. Uh, according to the indictment, Allegedly. multiple individuals tied to OTF coordinated the plot and discussed payments after the alleged attempt on Kwando's life. The plan allegedly involved offering music industry opportunities and cash rewards in exchange for the killing of Kwando. On the same day, OTF associated credit cards reportedly used to book flights for several individuals involved to return to Chicago. Now, how would they know? That here goes the problems, a couple problems here. How would they know that uh, music contracts was offered? Who would have to tell them that? Well, prosecutors state that these transactions and the informants' recordings played key roles in linking Little Dirk to the murder for hire plan. There's a guy named OTF Jam. That was wired. Very ironic name. Damn. I didn't think about that. He jammed his ass up. Said he kept it real, brought him cars, gave him 50,000. Right. Yeah. This, this, this. Uh, made mention that. That's ain't a no real ass on his name. name. He ain't never been a rat. Mm. Caught a gun case. But eventually he, he flipped. Yep. Yeah. He got put in the jam and, and, and now he's. Right. OTF Jam did 12 years for attempted murder back, uh, I guess, around 2010. He got out in 2022, right around the same time of the Kwando situation. And he allegedly had been wearing a wire for the last two years. From 22 to 24. Yeah. So he immediately got caught up? Yes. That's what it sounds like. And, of course, what they're saying is this is retaliation for the killing of King Von. My little side note real quick is they are so damn grimy that it, I mean, it sounds like the government is so damn grimy that they strategically waited and knew that after Vaughn was take, uh, taken out that there may or most likely is going to be something and yeah, if they were that damn thirsty to try to get OTF and uh, all these people allegedly, they literally waited, saw an opportunity, said, we're going to put somebody out. Like, if you watch the old Mafia movies, they always have somebody come out of a family once they start losing family uh, members of the uh, Mafia, you know what I mean. And then they end up being a snitch, and then you're like, oh, damn. They ain't going to kill uh, Uncle Ricky right there, or Uncle Tommy, like, you know what I mean? Like, some crazy shit. That's damn near what they did. They saw an opportunity, they took advantage of it, and they leached onto it, and they found 
what it sounds like a damn near perfect leech itself to figure it out too but uh i don't have that lifestyle so i can't really say much i don't know what i would do if i was in his shoes probably not the same same thing but i don't know i really don't know i don't know what they had on them or anything like that i can't say that but damn they really waited and struck at the right time that is grimy as hell that just yeah I'll by the government. <laughs> Quando Rondo's right hand man, little tip. Slow down. Grab the wall. The killing that happened at the out. Beverly Center is retaliation. That what killing at the Beverly Center? That, that's where the last murder happened. Of this who? murder happened at the Beverly Center across the street. Oh, Lil Pop. Yeah. Now, I understand that, but the Lil Pop murder, which was supposed to be the Quando Rondo murder, was mm -hmm. a retaliation to King Von getting killed. For that. Okay. Yeah, that's what uh, I'm saying. Yeah, the first, who's the first one to get mentioned in that? What do you mean? One of your guests. We all thought that was a bad drug deal, weed deal. You know that. The world thought that that shooting was a bad weed deal between some Armenians or Persians. Nah. That's what the world thought. Huh. Okay. And I don't it wasn't recall that February one. of 2023. Pretty wrong, but I don't recall that it like that. Baby goes on the oh, no, he didn't draw it taco in. and says oh. out of nowhere it's crazy the world is did one on how brick baby's getting blamed we for this. tied this to a bad drug deal remember the story that an arm reached over quando and shot him mm. that was the story right brick baby goes on the show and says i guess they can't say otf didn't slide for king bond anymore <laughs> and, and Flacco says, "Well, what are you talking about? You, 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 what do you mean?" The I shooter, stutter. I can make fun of the stutter. They yeah. slid for King Von, OTS. Yeah. Now, that's February. March, the feds get on Brit. We don't know this. Mm. Jump to June. Oh, you said the feds were on the feds him. Feds go to Brick Baby's house. We get the report. I'm screaming, Brick Baby just got picked up by the feds. What's happening? When your court date? Right? We're under the presumption that it's an AK-47 case. But what really happened he was they came he in to Brick get snitched. his cell phone. Uh, it, damn in the near, process not saying of that, them but... going to search, they come across to AK-47. Brick Baby calls 600, who's part of the exposure. It's one of my guys. Say, man, the feds just picked me up. I got an AK case, but they on the other fella. We're going to refrain from his name because I know that's your friend, right? Yep. He's giving us all this information. He said, the feds been on me since March, right? So he gives this thing, identifying OTF in February, first one in the world. And then when they come in this house in June, they let them know they've been on them since March, but we think it's an AK-47 case, right? Hmm come to find out when we applied pressure last night for actual he wakes up this morning in a panic he goes on there and starts running his mouth yeah the feds came in they took my cell phone still haven't given it back right if you go in there and look at that report number four is a local guy that was dropping Kwando's locations oh slow down number four is a local guy that was dropping Quando's locations. Mm, now, I ain't hear none of this the before. Murder, when Quando went back to Georgia, what did he immediately do? Dropped his flag. There it goes. What was he claiming? Uh, Roll uh, sixty script. Where Brick Baby from? Roll sixty script. What you think the a police lot of told Quando? That the Roll sixty set him up. Who you think he checked in with? Roll 60s. With who? Okay, I see where you're going with this. I'm That's not, not, I'm not gonna say Listen. It. Yeah. Listen. I'm not this, gonna say it. No, listen, listen. The he's the one that would everything I'm saying, he said. Go put it up. Him and Flacco. Mm. Nobody knew anything about oh, we wasn't even factored in OTF in this. We're at the Beverly Center, across the street. Then this morning he says. Yeah, they came in, they got my phone, they still got my phone. 
No, that's crap. I ain't hear any of that. Now, I did want I just react to the video. It might be up right now where people are blaming him. And yeah, like he made some sly little comments and shit like that where I'm like, ooh, yeah, like you could like put it on there, but it's just hearsay. It's not enough to really put it on there. But now Wack is coming out and saying that he got picked up by the feds too. They took his phone and apparently somebody was in LA giving the location drops. Who did he check in with? All these coincidences and all the coincidences are like lining up in that. It just, there's not proof yet. There's nothing that's out for me to like fully go on and point fingers and shit. But can I, would I be lying if I didn't say that a damn near wasn't so close that it really has my mind going like, holy shit. He might have, he low key might have, but to say, you know, I really don't know. That's the point. It, but it really does look like he. It, you know, it's really scary looking for Brick Baby, okay? Like, I wasn't even expecting his name to get dropped in this one. And he did on a pretty big one there. And I ain't gonna lie. I'm kinda, I can't wait to see with the whole backlash, if there is gonna be backlash in the, at No Jumper, since they both damn near work there, you know? And in general, I can't lie. That just got my mind blown. Like, damn, everybody's really starting to point fingers at him. And, you know, it's weird because the actual dude that is the informant, the one that we know is snitch snitched, is, like, not really getting any slack or anything. Not that I really am the type of person, nor do I feel like I am the type of person to come out here and start, you know, giving criticisms and shit on that aspect, of course. But in general, now everybody's going after Brick Baby. I don't know. I don't know what the hell is going on here, but I am curious to see what y'all think in the comment section down below. Also, in the comments, come and your boy make a make all kinds of videos. So, comment what you want to see. And uh, yeah, let's talk about the video.